You don't have to make eye contact. It's perfect. It dives right into the action and try to get them published. So. I'm falling to pieces in my room. Are you coming over? That's cool. I could use a little something to do. We could go outside, take a little ride if you want to. That's cool. I did what I supposed to. There's nothing left for me to do. So now I'm Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new, I'm V. And welcome to a productive day in the life of a writer, student, and content creator. Yes, I said student because even though it's the summer, I do have classes. I decided to take three electives to get ahead in my program. So we are still kind of in school mode, even though it's summer. But anyway, it's a Tuesday. I've got a lot to do today. There's a lot I want to get done today. So we're going to be super productive. Okay, time check. It's nine o'clock. I am such a morning person. So I definitely love waking up earlier in the day. So I feel like I get a lot more done. And I definitely feel most productive when the sun is out. So to maximize on that, to capitalize on that, I love waking up early. I do want to experiment waking up a little bit earlier even. Like if I could eventually be the girl that wakes up at like 5 a.m., 6 a.m., I feel like that could be very beneficial, but I'd have to like ease into it. But anyway, it's nine o'clock and I love my to-do lists. I make them every single day. So I'm going to open my planner and make a to-do list for the day. And I love checking things off. It just feels way more accomplished. So we have different areas to cover. I have schoolwork, I have things for YouTube, which I consider kind of work, and then I absolutely want to write today. Like, I've just been thinking about my story so much, and my goal is to start a new story in June to move from Project Soulmates to Project ITL in a whole brand new draft. So it's the 23rd of May. I've got a couple days left, which is good, but basically I just need to edit as much as I possibly can so I can finish draft four soon. So that is also in my goal Z for today. So first I'm going to put school because that's my first priority. Okay, so that's number one. And thankfully it's not a lot because it's I only took three classes for the summer and they're all electives and it's still the first few weeks so it's pretty light right now in terms of what I have to do. Second, I have a bunch of work emails that I have to reply to so I'm going to go through my work email and respond to those. I also just posted a vlog yesterday so I want to get to those comments and respond to them because I haven't been the greatest at responding to comments lately so I'm putting it on my to-do list so I prioritize it because I truly love interacting with you guys so we're gonna respond to comments Oh, I also filmed my 10k Q&A video yesterday, or was it two days ago? Two days ago. And I want to get that one up as soon as possible because it was a celebration for hitting 10k, so I need to start editing it. I don't think I can edit the whole thing today because editing takes me a while, so I'm going to say start editing that video. As for my writing today, I don't want to set a specific goal in terms of chapter, like, oh, do this many chapters or whatever, make it to this chapter, because it's hard to tell how long it's going to take me to edit each chapter because some need more work than others, some don't need that much work, and as I'm nearing the end, I feel like there are a lot of things that I need to change. A lot more things I need to change. So my goal for writing is just going to be to write as much as I can today. So that is the goal. Okay, that's my to-do list for today, and I'm very happy with it. Like I said, it's nine o'clock, and I like to start my day off with water. Usually I have tea, but it's actually starting to get a lot nicer out, so... We're gonna have a cold drink in the morning. I haven't done that in a while. That's a sign that summer is coming. But yeah, I'm gonna drink this while I do some schoolwork and the productive day starts now. Guys, it's 11.30 and I've done my schoolwork. For the morning so i'm so happy because i was super productive and now it is time for some breakfast because i'm starving and breakfast is like my break time so i'm going to read my book while i eat i have been loving this book so much sorry this is a terrible angle but i'm exactly on page 100 and it's the kind of book that i literally don't want to finish because it's just so good but it's okay because there's like a lot of pages it's like 540 something but yeah i'm gonna eat and read this
Okay, you guys, it is like late afternoon now. It's the middle of the day and I'm getting ready to go for a walk. It's so nice outside today and I feel like I haven't gone on a walk outside in months, like in so long. Not counting my recent vacation, which I actually did walk a bunch. But yeah, it's a really nice day. I want to go for a walk and it'll get my mind pumping and the creative juices flowing for when I write later on when I come back. So I think that's perfect and if you guys have been watching my videos, you know that I like to take a Magic Mind productivity slash energy shot for an extra boost in energy and productivity. So now is like the perfect time of the day for me to take one. I usually like to take it in the afternoon because that's when I feel like I need another boost of energy, although sometimes I take it in the morning. But I'm going to take that right now before I go for my walk. So if you guys are unfamiliar with Magic Mind, they're these little energy slash productivity shots. I've been taking them for months now. I absolutely love them so much because they're just such a good way to get a boost of energy and I feel so productive after I take them and they're extremely versatile because you can take it as a shot or you could put it in a drink I like making iced matcha lattes they're so easy to make and they're so good for this weather I made one yesterday so I'll insert it here and show you how I make it but today I'm just gonna take it as a shot because I want to go for my walk so I'm just gonna take this for some extra energy and then go for my walk and then write but the bottle is absolutely so cute and I love that the ingredients are right there on the bottle for you to read and they are super healthy and beneficial so there's matcha in this which boosts your energy so matcha lovers you will absolutely love this there are adaptogens to help you relax nootropics to keep you focused and all sorts of other crazy good ingredients and vitamins i personally like to take this alongside caffeine or just on its own if i don't need caffeine for the day and today is one of those days because i feel like i had a lot of sleep last night so right now i just want to boost in energy so i'm going to take one of these and i put them in the fridge that they're super refreshing and i give it a little shake and we're gonna take it like a shot today okay I feel great I'm so ready for my walk and if you guys want a discount on magic mind I have a code for you guys that gives you guys 20% off and I'll have it linked in the description below for you guys if you want to check it out I highly recommend I've been taking these for months and I absolutely love them so definitely worth checking them out okay slight outfit change I'm wearing these pants instead just because, I don't know, it's a little bit more comfortable. And I'm also going to listen to an audiobook while I walk because I have been loving audiobooks lately ever since my trip to Punta Cana like two weeks ago or something because I was listening to my audiobook for The Great Gatsby, which I started some time ago and then never got around to finishing because I got so, so busy. But then I was listening to it, continuing to listen to it like while I was on the beach and stuff like that. And it was just so nice to have an audiobook and to be able to listen to it. So on my walk, I'm gonna listen to an audiobook. This is so random, but I'm gonna listen to Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson which has been on my TBR for so long but I just recently like have been really wanting to read it because I watched Brittany and Books is most recent video and her friend recommended the book to her and she read it and she was the way she was talking about it just made me really want to read it and I think she listened to the audiobook for it so I figured why not listen to that book because it's been on my TBR for so long so I think it'll be a good choice so I downloaded it on audible I got a free trial just for being able to listen to an audiobook normally I use my library like I have a, a Libby app which I can get audiobooks for free which is amazing but I, like I said I decided that I wanted to read this book so last minute so I knew it wouldn't have it so I was like oh I really want to read it so I just got an audible free trial and I'm gonna listen to that on my walk also I have to know does anyone else wear like glasses on their walks so that they don't have to like make eye contact with people because it's like it's not like I don't want to make eye contact with people but sometimes you're just like you're walking so far away from them and then you see each other and then it's like that awkward moment of like okay you don't want to keep staring at them but then like you don't want to like be looking at the ground the whole time and it's just so like no I just no I don't want to deal with that so I like to wear glasses it's foolproof way to avoid that because you don't have to make eye contact it's perfect back from my walk you guys and I feel amazing I forgot how much I loved walking outside like my mind feels so clear right now and I just feel amazing and I feel super motivated to write it was such a good idea for me to listen to an audiobook while walking I loved that that was amazing usually I listen to like music sometimes like podcasts and stuff when I'm walking but listening to that audiobook was such a good experience like I could fully take in the words while I was walking and it just kind of like transported me somewhere else while I was walking outside it was just so calming and relaxing 
unboxing and this book is so good so far you guys like it's written very very well and Brittany's reaction was so accurate for the first chapter like it go dives right into the action like it doesn't beat around the bush it gets right into it and I was like oh my gosh and I was a little confused at first because it's an audiobook and so it's harder to pick up on dual timelines and I was like wait this happened and then now we're at this and it was just so different and I was like wait what but then I remember that Brittany said that it was a dual timeline and I was like right so it's a then and now thing good to know loving the book so far but now it is time for me to work on my own novel i'm so excited let's get right into it i am so excited editing is going really well. I'm still on chapter 21 of 29. I keep saying out of 29 chapters but technically it's 29 and then an epilogue so technically it's 30 chapters. But yeah editing is going really well. I find a lot of the things that I'm editing have to do with word choice like I didn't realize how much I said I say or he says or she says but I've been reinforcing those by changing it up you know like I exclaim, he muses, yada yada yada. Like just the changes that impact the flow of the dialogue and of the novel and of the scene and yeah i've also been enhancing my descriptions you know the books that i've been reading lately have been so good at setting the scene and bringing it to life with the five senses you know smell sight especially things you never got over which i'm reading right now it's set in like a town that is so different from where i live and i just i can see it so vividly in my head and i can tell what it's like to live there just by how the author describes it so i'm trying my best to emulate that in my story where I can do my best to put the reader in the scene and make it feel very real. So not easy, but I've been looking at different articles on how to do it, opening some books and looking at their descriptions, and yeah, just learning, absorbing, and trying my best to do the same without like overdoing it. But I'm gonna have dinner now and take a little break and then continue to write right after. <laughs> you guys can hear the birds in the background but there are so many birds now that it's spring and I love the sound so much like it just makes me so happy anyway I had dinner and I am going to continue to write slash edit because I don't know what it is about it being summer well technically spring but like my summer break that makes me want to dive into a new story so bad or focus on a different story like project itl but i think it's because this time last year it was when i did my discovery draft slash draft one of project itl and i haven't worked on it since i finished that draft and it's such a summer book in my opinion like it's set in a sunshine state in california which now i think about is hilarious because i wrote that when i came back from my trip to california so clearly Really that was inspired by my trip and it centers around music and fake dating it's just so fun and summery and i can't wait to completely like re-outline it and revisit it and reread it and all of that which is my plan for june like i said in my previous vlog so i was thinking that and i was like okay i need to continue to edit i need to continue to edit i need to finish project soulmates which i love but i've been working on for forever what feels like forever even though in reality it wasn't that long but i'm sure some of you may be curious about what my plans are after i've done draft four of project soulmates I I know I said earlier that I would do a second round of beta reading, beat it beta reader feedback but i thought about it further and while i love project soulmates so much and i've put a lot of work and effort into it i'm not a hundred percent sure the concept is super marketable and i do want to pursue traditional publishing which means you have to query be represented by an agent etc and it all boils down to the concept which i discovered might not be super marketable because it's not very easy to blurb which is like the back part of a book when you explain like what it's about and stuff like that so instead of like continuing to do another round of edits i kind of want to move on from project soulmates so i am going to query it i'm definitely going to query it because i put so much effort into it and you never know what could happen so i'm going to query it which is so scary but so exciting at the same time but basically when i'm done draft four you won't hear about project soulmates 
for some time because I'm going to be querying it and then depending on if it gets represented or not I'll either be revisiting it or printing it out and putting it on my shelf because at the end of the day it's near and dear to my heart and it's my first finished story so hopefully I mean it would be amazing if it got published but if it didn't I would definitely still print it out and put it on my shelf so that I will be able to read it whenever I want so yeah we are nearing the end of Project Soulmates which is so bittersweet but I'm excited because because my plan is to just write and query, write, query, write, query, and so on and so forth. I have so many untold stories in me, and from here on out I plan to write book after book after book, and with every book I'm going to put as much effort in it as possible and try to get them published. So it might not happen with the first book that I ever write, this one, but again, you never know, and either way I'm going to continue to write and continue to try and achieve that goal. So that being said, I'm very excited for my writing goals for this year year because after Project Soulmates, like I said, I want to work on Project ITL in the summer and continuing with working on two books at once, that means I'm going to be starting a brand new story from scratch later this year, which is so exciting to me, like so, so, so exciting. Maybe in the future I can balance writing more at a time, but for now two works really well for me. But yeah, anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Just wanted to update you guys on what I'm thinking, where I'm at, and now I'm going to get right back into editing. We did everything on our to-do list for the day, which leaves me feeling so happy that I was very productive today. Just a reminder though that the days where you do next to nothing are still okay because sometimes it's productive to let your body rest and to let your mind rest if that's what your mind and your body needs. But I had a lot I wanted to get done today and I'm very glad that I did. And I've been loving reading before bed lately. It's something that I love to do and while I don't always remember to, I try to do it as much as possible because it's such a great way for me to end off the night. I turn off all my social media, my phone, my laptop, everything, and I just read before I go to bed. It's really good for my mental health. Same thing with waking up. I like to knock on my phone for as long as possible. And just the other morning, I read for like an hour right as I woke up. My book was like on my nightstand and like my eyes opened and then I was like I just took my book and I read for like an hour before starting the day and that was pretty nice too. So anyway I'm gonna continue to read Things You Never Got Over. I'm loving it so much and I like escaping to this town. It's so cozy and warm and welcoming. And with that I'm going to end off the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it it would mean so much to me if you could give it a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed please consider subscribing and joining our writing fam and don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so you're notified the next time I upload. Also remember if you want to try out Magic Mind for yourself I have a discount code for you and a link in the description below. You should definitely check it out. And with all that being said I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!